I wonder if this can create math equations for me to use in my math videos and then provide the answers. Hmm, will this replace a math teacher? Could this replace me? So I heard about this chat GPT and I immediately started thinking about what are the applications of math? Because there's a lot of ways that students get help with math on AI. And I was kind of interested. Could I use the software to help create my own math videos? Huh, will replace me or math instruction in total? Well, I think there's only one way to be able to find out. And that is I needed to test this software out. So first thing I did is go to chat.openai.com. Then I would try to think of, well, if I was going to make a math video, what a math video I could create. Hmm, let's maybe do something on logarithms. So I'll type in, give me five logarithmic equations I can solve. And here are the results. Okay, that's cool. Now, if I was gonna make the videos though, I always wanna make sure I can check my answers. So let's go and type in, give me five logarithmic equations I can solve with answers. This could be very helpful for students and teachers. But what if I don't understand a solution and I get stuck? I think we definitely wanna figure out our worked out solutions. Let's go and see if we can figure out the worked out solutions. Give me five logarithmic equations I can solve with worked out solutions. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Uh-oh. And it looks like we have hit a impasse. This is a pretty popular app at the moment, but I keep on trying and trying and trying and trying again. So therefore, well, I guess there's no other way. Let's go ahead and work through these problems to actually see how they would be on a math video. Are these problems that I would actually choose myself? And are they gonna get the same solutions as the AI? So I took a little screen grab of the problems that we have here. Let's go and solve them because I did like seeing the work, but I'm not really sure if I fully understood all the explanation that the program gave. So let's just go ahead and work through these problems, um, see what we get. They're saying that it's equal to X is equal to two. Well, yeah, X is equal to two is also going to work, but guess what? Any number is going to work. So I'm not even sure in their worked out solution that they provided how they're coming up with this answer. So it looks like the AI needs a little bit more learning here because it looks like the, the solutions in my case, unless I'm doing something wrong, right? And of course I could be, but it looks like to my case, the solution is gonna be all real numbers, um, not X is equal to two. So um, looks like we need to let the AI know about that and it's going to get smarter and I think eventually write all of its wrongs. So since it got it wrong, let's go and type in exactly what this equation is to see if GPT does any better. So typing in the original equation, now in this case, I'm not gonna use base two, I'm just gonna use regular log because I use the one-on-one -on -one property anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now that I go ahead and typed it in, let's go ahead and see what's the, and actually, you know what, let's type in, let's say, solve this, please. Cool, so you can see actually that it worked out correctly. And myself, I can kind of follow through with this step-by-step -step process. So it didn't get the right answer initially, but when I was more specific on what I wanted it to do, it looked like it redeemed itself. All right, in this example, we have x base 10 of x plus one minus an x base 10 of x minus one is equal to an x squared minus one. So now using the zero product property, I can say x equals zero, x equals two, and x equals a negative one. So now let's go back and test to see, right? We wanna look for extraneous solutions because when we're dealing with logarithmic equations, just because it, you know, solves this quadratic here, if it doesn't go back and satisfy the original equation, then it's an extraneous solution. These two answers are extraneous. So the only answer is x equals two, which go ahead and taking a look at my original screenshot, original answers, x is equal to one, which is not even an answer I got. So not sure what's going on here, but uh, I'm pretty sure my answer or everything that I did is correct. So again, it got it wrong. So now I wanna do is plug it directly into chat GPT and see how it works. Okay, now in this case, um, it is not getting the same answers. And if you look at this quadratic, the x squared minus x minus two equals zero, like the solutions are not negative two and one. They should actually be a negative one and positive two. And either way, those two are going to be extraneous. So in this case, we can see that it is failing us again. Let's maybe go ahead and try number three. So we have these two arguments, they have the same base, right? So I can just rewrite this as a log base two of x times a x plus one. And that's gonna be equal to a log base two of a x squared plus x. So again, this is going to have all real numbers as it solution. Not really sure what the algorithm is going. And again, if you remember, this is where it started to run out, had a network error. So I'm not really sure what the solution process was for this one, but I'm not getting X equals one to be the solution. All right. So right now the AI is not working out so well. So this is again, another one where we got all wrong. So let's go and type it in directly and see what it says. In this case, again, it redeemed itself. Let's go and try the next problem. Okay, so in this problem, we have the difference of these um, two logarithms. So again, we can rewrite this as a quotient. Okay, so again, you can use my one-to-one -one property. So therefore, using the zero product property, I can say x is equal to zero and x is equal to a negative two. But we have, again, we have a problem. I can't plug zero in for x, right? That's gonna, again, be an undefined value. So that's extraneous. And if I plug in negative two, like negative two plus one is gonna be negative one. You can't take the logarithm of a negative. So these are both going to be extraneous solutions. So in this example, I am seen no solution. And again, the answer they gave us is X is equal to one, which I am having absolutely no idea how they went ahead and got that. All right, again, we have some extraneous solutions. So let's go ahead and type it in and let's see what it says directly.
now this is not the solution that I got and I, this isn't the solution that I originally got. I also feel like by watching the solution, I just got like kind of overwhelmed. Like <laughs> this is like a lot going on and it seems like again, we need to give this AI a little bit more information and help on solving a problem like this. All right, so I guess there's only one more time to do. Let's try to see if we can get one of these answers correct. Because so, so far the problems aren't too bad, but I'm not getting the same answers as the AI. All right, so in this one, again, we have another difference here. So I, I can rewrite this as an argument. So we'll go log base two, let's say the quotient here of X squared plus one over an X squared minus one. And that's gonna equal a log base two of a X to the fourth minus one, okay? The solutions to this equation is going to be X equals a plus or minus square root of two. So again, if we're gonna go ahead and check our answer, for what the AI gave us, which is plus or minus square root of two, zero, and I, these are going to be our only solutions because they not only satisfy the simplified equation, but also the original equation. So the rest of them were extraneous. So the AI did not pick on that. Okay, by now I know these extraneous solutions are very tricky for the AI to be picking up, but let's go ahead and again see what it does directly. Okay, and so again, you can see that the AI is failing uh, once again. So here are my final thoughts. Obviously the AI did not get all of these problems right. And even when I asked the AI, like give me some logarithmic equations to solve, there wasn't really a great variety. I mean, I didn't mind them, but as you saw me work through the problems, you noticed that when I could test my solutions, I could just use regular log because in every single one of the examples it chose, I was just using the one-to-one -one property to get rid of the logarithm. So there wasn't a great variety in the process that was used. However, the solutions did vary and I did like that. Unfortunately though, the AI couldn't pick up on that variety of solutions. Is this a homework killer? No, this is not something I would fully rely on for my homework. Is this gonna be a test or an exam replacement for your teacher? I don't think so yet. I think it was really good. I do like how it came up with some equations and I think those are some ones that I could definitely use for like some videos or for some resources but it's definitely not something I, at least as a teacher, am ready to rely on. And I hope that you don't rely on this either, but I think it is a very powerful tool that's only gonna get better and better in the future. So please don't ignore it. Keep it in your back pocket, utilize it, but also just like anything else, check your work, check your understanding. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking at this new AI and look forward to making some more videos just like this. Cheers.